We're still short for rainfall across Trinidad for the month of November. Only a quarter of the usual amount of rainfall has come across uh, Trinidad's shores. And obviously we've seen the effects out there on the reservoirs. Look towards uh, Navet, Carney, and Hollis. It's all well below average. It's a completely different story for Hillsborough in Tobago filled to capacity at 100%. Now, it seems as though Tobago will still be under fair skies as we go through your Thursday. Just those brief showers uh, throughout the morning and afternoon, but overall looking for partly sunny skies as you go through Thursday. For Trinidad, most of the activity in terms of any showers will likely be towards those uh, southern areas. So northern parts of Trinidad will likely still be partly sunny, and there is uh, that uh, chance of a heavier shower turning to the possible a thunder shower, especially towards that southwestern corner. So if you're going down towards San Fernando, Point Fortin, up towards uh, Maruga, maybe as far west as Icarcus, you may just see some more showers developing throughout the afternoon and here the possibility of a thunder shower rumbling throughout the middle of the day. Now temperature-wise, still looking at highs of 32 degrees Celsius. For those heading offshore, it remains smooth with one metre waves through the Caribbean, 1.5 metres out in the Atlantic, and northeasterly swells of 11 seconds with gentle northeasterly winds of 10 knots. And if you are heading out, you've got your low tide at 10.45 a.m. and high tide at 4.45 p.m. So that's weather and that's it for me.